Hello, welcome back to Do Spanners. Um, in the workshop this evening, hopefully going to try and get uh, the last poly bushes done on the mini. Um, and then if we get time, we'll fit the uh, intercooler boost pipes and uh, new suspension kit. So uh, we'll see how far we get. Um, we've got a lot to do, not very much time. So I don't know how in depth we're going to be able to get, you know, explain things and whatnot. But we'll get some footage of it, do some time lapsing and, and then, you know, hopefully just interject a bit if we need to. Um, or if we feel like it's marginally interesting or helpful. Um, so, yeah, if you like the video, please... Uh, hit that like button subscribe little notification bell uh won't miss out on any more mini videos and of course as you can see in the background there the course of vxr which is well underway uh, more more content for that coming as well um, and we hope you enjoy So, um, just gonna pull the shocks off as well and the uh, rear anti roll bar. As you can see, rear arms are out. Um, most of the rear subframe is all dismantled, and it's just this center part. If my phone will focus, please, thank you. Um, this center part of the subframe in here, really, um, which we'll probably clean up in situ and give a little paint. Um, but yeah, coming along nicely. I've only been at it for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, it's all that makes some decent headway. We're, we're just gonna keep cracking on, and I'll catch up with you again soon. Hello, welcome back. I'm um, just going to do a quick catch up with you now. Uh, to now taking the lower arms out, uh, sorry, the, the rear trailer arms out, um, and they're all washed up now. Um, just to come out and jet wash them. There's the brackets for the uh, rear trailer arm bushes. So we're going to push them out now and get them popped together. This has cleaned all the bolts up so they look near enough new. And then here's our 
new pair of trailing arm brushes. So again, uh, we're a little bit short on battery and memory card, so we're just going to crack on rather than do loads of time lapse in here. Um, we'll probably time lapse it when we put it back together like we did the initial strip. But uh, yeah, just a bit of an update where we are. And we'll catch up with you again soon. Thank you for watching. Right guys, a um, bit of a nightmare on the uh, GoPro side of things. We ran out of battery, so I'm just kind of doing updates at a minute. Hopefully we'll have, uh, um, you know, a bit more battery to do some more filming tomorrow. But a lot of it's going to be time lapse anyway, because we've been here... It's about half four, what's time now? Eight o'clock. Sorry about that, somehow I'll turn my camera off, we'll try again. <laughs> I haven't been here since about half four, it's about eight o'clock now, so we've been here about three and a half hours, but we have stripped the whole rear end off. Uh, the new bushes are in for the rear anti-roll bar. The new bushes are fitted for the uh, rear arms. They're not actually on yet for the rear uh, trailing arms. Um, and then here again, boom, new bushes. And then, um, the rest of the bushes are here. We've got the um, rear control arms uh, next door. They're all uh, washed and degreased and that. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to push them uh, pop bushes out of it, put the new bushes in it, and then just give them a quick lick of paint. Um, I mean, they're not in bad shape, so if time doesn't permit, I don't really care if we don't get any paint on it. Um, and then we're going to give this a little brush down as well and try and get a little bit of paint on there. But again, it's more just a preventative thing. It's not to make it look pretty. So just to try and uh, make it last a bit longer. Um, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. But, you know, that stuff never gets better. Um, but we're not going on the head for now because if I'm honest, we've both worked a, you know, like 10 hour day. We're absolutely knackered anyway. And then another three and a half, four hours here. So uh, it's time to go home, get some dinner, have a shower. And we will catch up with you guys again tomorrow. Hello, welcome back. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit uh, of a rush, so we're not quite filmed everything, but what we have filmed will we'll time lapse and whatnot. And uh, hopefully, this is going to start going back together now. It's got everything done. So, anti roll bar bushes are in. Um, probably can't quite see. I'll get some better footage on my uh, other camera in a minute, which I'll cut in. Um, and on this side, uh, can hold a very good clean, a bit of rust protection. Um, I'll grab it up here after moving the camera. We've got the new poly bushes in on the lower arms, uh, rear trailing arms, sorry, should I say. Uh, they're in. Um, they're just left loose for now uh, because this all affects oh the tracking. So. It's always one, it? It's always away. We've got the uh, rear uh, control arm bushes in. Uh, I'm just going to give them a quick wipe down on that because all covered in uh, grease and dirt and all sorts of stuff. Um, you can't push the bushes out of these because they've got a little metal uh, sort of like casing that goes around the outside of the uh, around the outside of the bush here. Um, that metal casing, if you try to push them out, comes out with it basically, and then it's a bit of a bugger to get them all back in and yada yada yada. So, um, best way actually to get rid of these is to burn them out. Um, that is the most effective way. It's not particularly environmentally friendly, but. Um, again, you can try pressing them out, but it usually turns into a bit of a headache. Um, so that's where we are with that. They're about to go back in. Chris has just taken the uh, new rear shocks up to the um, top workshop so that we can press the springs and that and take the rear top mounts out ready to uh, transfer them over so we can stick them back on. Everything's all cleaned up under here now. I say everything, we haven't actually done this area, but everything where something's going back at the minute. Right, so we're just sticking the uh, rear shocks back in. Um, We've got uh, everything pretty much buttoned up now. We've got the uh, trailing arm bushes in, the poly bushes. Um, we've also got the control arms for the rear all poly bushed up, ready to go. So it's literally just a case of bottom it together. Anti-roll bar drop links to go on as well. Um, and we're just gonna crack on tight. And uh, we'll just time lapse what we can and, and interrupt and uh, think it's worth it.
Oh, look at them big, strong arms. <laughs> uh, my two minutes of being a director. It's now over, you fucking useless man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it. Uh, uh, yeah. So apparently we are doing the front shocks. Yeah, I think the bushes are going to get left today. Uh, so do I, mate. We'll just book them in for next weekend or the weekend after, whenever it's not your birthday. Right then, um, we've got our old shops off, stripped down, and now we've built up the brand new ones. Again, this is a uh, sports suspension kit. I couldn't remember the name earlier, it's Vogtland. I've done a bit of research first, they are supposed to be uh, quite uh, well rated and that, so um, they're not, you know, like a cheap set or anything, but Demon Tweets had a really good offer on them, so I thought I'd give them a bash. Um, but we're just going to put them back together now. Again, combination of battery, SD cards, partly why I'm filming on this phone at the minute, and we ain't going to time lapse it, uh, the whole thing. We're just going to crack on and then we'll catch up with you when we're sort of there. Um, appreciate you watching and tuning in. I hope you're enjoying and we'll catch up with you again soon. Hello, welcome back guys. Um, just a bit of a catch up again. Um, so the new front suspension is in with the new drop links. I'm not just about to be able to see it in there. Maybe, maybe not. Let me stick the flash on, see if it makes any difference. There we go. First drop links. Didn't do the front bushes today, um, purely because of time, uh, but we'll come back and probably do them next weekend. Um, and then the intercooler we'll hopefully do in the week. There's the other side. Um, then come around to the back, and we've got, uh, we've got underneath it so we can see. The rear control arms all poly bushed, brand new uh, drop links again, and obviously the suspension hasn't also been replaced to this Vogtland Sports Suspension Kit. We've cleaned up a bunch of stuff in here. Some of it's had a lick of paint. Some of it's just had a bit of rust, uh, rust proofing done on it. So uh, hopefully it'll last a little while. Um, yeah, no major, major issues. A couple of little bits and bobs getting the bushes out. For instance, these lower control arms, there's a little uh, metal collar inside them um, that wants to come out when you, if you try to push the bushes out. Um, so they do actually recommend even from the company that supplies the bushes to actually burn them out. For, for reference if anyone wants to do it um, and then the if anyone's ever worked on a mini you'll know this anyway but um, these pinch bolts man down here absolutely pain in the butt they're always absolutely solid seized in there and they're not particularly strong they're a bit thinner in the middle I think to try to stop them seizing and try to work them in and out the, the amount of times you snap them um, it's, it's quite common um, so I'd always recommend if you are going to change the uh, suspension or just put new shocks on the front of your Mini that you have new pinch bolts ready. Um, we actually managed to get them out without snapping them, but we had to pretty much cover the whole uh, subframe area with fire blankets and get in there with a blowtorch and get it glowing before it would let us knock the bolt out. It was that seized. We gave everything to clean up and it all went back together lovely, so I'm quite quite happy with it. Um, wheels are on now. I'm just going to drop it on the floor, talk the wheels up, chuck it on the, uh, the tracking kit and uh, make it straight so we can drive it about. Oh, 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 oh,